Hello everyone. In this lecture, let us discuss about kernel trick in machine learning. SVM algorithms use a set of mathematical functions that are defined as the kernel. The function of the kernel is to take the data as input and transform it into the required form. Firstly, a kernel takes the data from its original space and implicitly maps it to a higher dimensional space. This is necessary when dealing with the data that is not linearly separable in its original form. Instead of performing computationally expensive high dimensional calculations, the kernel function calculates the relationships or similarities between the pairs of data points as if they were in the higher dimensional space. So this diagram indicates that by using the kernel function, we can transform the non-linear separable data into linearly separable data in the higher dimensional space. Now let us understand the purpose of kernel trick. Kernel trick allows us to operate in the original feature space without computing the coordinates of the data in a higher dimensional space. For example, consider x equal to x1, x2, x3 and y is equal to y1, y2, y3. Here, x and y are two data points in three dimensions. Let us assume that we need to map x and y to nine dimensional space. We need to do the following calculations to get the final result, which is just a scalar. The computational complexity in this case is order of n square. So we can represent this x in nine dimensional space as pi of x, which is written as x1 into x1 means x1 square. And we can multiply x1 with x2 and with x3. And in terms of x2, we can write it as x2 into x1, x2 into x2 is x2 square and x2 into x3. And in terms of x3, we can write it as x3 into x1, x3 into x2 and x3 into x3 is x3 square. In the same way, we can represent pi of y. So in short, we can write this as pi of x transpose into pi of y is equal to summation of xi xj into yi yj, where i and j is equal to 1, 2, 3. However, if we use the kernel function, which is denoted as k of x comma y, instead of doing this complicated computations in the nine dimensional space, we reach the same result within the three dimensional space by calculating the dot product of x transpose and y. So the kernel function is represented as x transpose into y whole square, which can be written as x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus x3 y3 whole square. This is three dimensional space. And in short, we can represent it as xi xj into yi yj so where j and i is equal to 1 to 3 the computational complexity in this case is order of n so thus the kernel trick offers a more efficient and less expensive way to transform the data into higher dimensions now let us understand the working of kernel function using a numerical example so we have the feature x here minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 up to plus 6 so this is represented in one dimension and we can represent this x in higher dimension that is in two dimension. So we can calculate x square for each x. So which is represented as for 6 uh, minus 6 it is 36 minus 5 it is 25 and so on. So if we represent this feature x in one dimension we can see the uh, graph here. So we have green points here that is minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, followed by it we have red points from minus 3 to plus 3 and then we have 4, 5, 6 at the end. So this data is linearly inseparable. So in one dimension it is linearly inseparable. We cannot separate these two classes using a line or a curve. So we can transform this into a higher dimensional space by using the kernel function. So we can square the feature x. So if we square it we have 36 here. So, uh, 6 can be expressed as 36 and then 25 followed by it we have 16, then 9, 4, 2 and 0 and this side we have 1 to 36. So, from this diagram we can clearly see that the green points are separated from the red point. So, we can easily draw the hyperplane in this higher dimensional space. So, thus applying the kernel method to represent the data in two dimension is advantageous than in one dimension. So thus we have seen about kernel trick in this lecture. Thank you.